we are more relaxed with the time now. So because we had, we managed to uh, basically make make up for some of the this time. Okay. okay. Let's pursue your talk. Okay. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. So today. Um, I will present a part uh, of a larger work, which is called uh, Controlling Particle Currents with Evaporation and Resetting. And uh, I've done this work with uh, the supervision of uh, Edgar and my other supervisor, Andrea Gambassi, and collaboration of uh, Shamik Gupta. So I go straight, for straight forward to the, to the model. And uh, so I uh, consider a Brownian particle which uh, diffuses on uh, a interval, minus LL. It starts from a, a position X0. And then um, uh, we add the periodic boundary condition at the edges of this uh, interval. So minus L and L become uh, topologically equivalent. This means that each time the particle crosses uh, the uh, L uh, edge, it comes back to the other side and uh, vice versa. On top of this motion, we add uh, another mechanism, which is uh, resetting. In particular, we consider the region minus AA, uh, which is uh, um, marked by yellow color. And you can see that uh, in this region, there is a, a constant rate R in which the particle can be taken and uh, brought to the position X of R, that is the resetting uh, position. And uh, so in general, um, uh, um, this type of problem are well described by a master equation, and uh, uh, which of course uh, describes the time evolution of a probability density of particle. Uh, in particular, uh, for our, um, for our problem, we have three contribution to the to the this master equation. The first one is uh, the usual diffusion. The second is a loss term, which uh, keeps track of the particle that uh, leave the yellow area and uh, because of resetting. And then we have the last term, which is a gain term to the position x of r, and it is proportional to the fraction of uh, particles that uh, are reset. At time t, so uh, this this equation, uh, in principle, uh, you can use it for any uh, potential. Uh, I mean, for any resetting rate, uh, space dependent, and uh, of course, then you add the constraint of uh, periodic boundary condition, which is uh, for our problem. And then there is, uh, let's say, a natural question that arises from this type of treatment in the case of uh, a finite size system, such as uh, periodic boundary conditions, uh, in which uh, we ask ourselves, how does resetting occur? In particular, uh, we know that, uh, uh, let's say, uh, as the problem is structured, that uh, resetting is instantaneous. This means that uh, each time a particle in the interval minus a a uh, is reset to the position x of r, uh, it, this, 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 uh, this uh, phenomenon happens uh, instantaneously. Then we might uh, um, have two possible ways of uh, reaching this point x of r, which is uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, this allows us to, um, to uh, define a protocol, that is a resetting protocol, which tells us uh, for each time a particle reset, which is the probability to go left or to go right. Uh, in particular, here I present an example of a resetting protocol. And uh, we can see this is the shortest path protocol, which means that in general, each time a particle, uh, we can see, for example, the first picture on the top, uh, we have that a particle resetting at the point X uh, can reach the point X of R in two uh, possible paths. The first one, as length uh, x minus x of r, while, while the other is just complementary. And uh, which we choose uh, the, the protocol which uh, allows the particle to reach the, which induces the particle to reach x of r with the shortest path. So uh, in, the, in, the first, in the first example, so the first picture on the top, we have the particle moves uh, clockwise. And in the second picture, we have counterclockwise uh, movement of the particle. So this is, uh, um, this, uh, let's say, uh, it's an important property of the system. It can be uh, basically reassumed uh, re in the, what is called caging bias. In particular, 
as we have already said, the, this type of resetting is uh, instantaneous. This means that the probability density of particle will be completely independent, insensitive to um, how particle reset, because uh, it just depends on the position of the particle and not how uh, particle reset. On the other side, we have uh, infinite possible protocols. Uh, that is, uh, we can generate infinite, infinite possible currents in our system. And this uh, converges to a unique property that is a gauge invariance for our probability distribution. In particular, we can have for the, the same probability distribution infinitely many possible currents. Uh, this can be also understood uh, mathematically uh, by just employing the master equation. In particular, uh, if we, uh, since the probability is always conserved at each time, we can define a total conserved uh, current, which is called uh, J dot, and uh, which is uh, uh, the sum of two, uh, two uh, con uh, currents. One is the usual uh, diffusive current, uh, given by fixed law, and is given like third equation. And then uh, there is the last, uh, last, uh, um, uh, the second contribution to the total current is the resetting current. This resetting current can be analytically computed by integrating the right hand side of the master equation, and this leads immediately to the, um, the equation at the bottom of the of the page. So we have that the total, uh, the, the the resetting current at uh, position x at time t is equal to a space dependent cost, space independent constant which depends only on time plus uh, a contribution which comes from integrating the probability density so as we can see uh, this space independent constant is what generates these uh, uh, infinitely many possible currents because once you fix the protocol it automatically fixes this this uh, this constant of course, this is just um, so uh, fi fixing a protocol is equivalent uh, to fixing the resetting current in in a point uh, in on the ring. Of course, you can change minus l with another point on the ring, but then you have just to modify the extreme of integration of the, in this formula. So, uh, recapitulating, uh, you have that uh, for any uh, protocol, you can define a resetting current, which is different. And vice versa, for any uh, fixed constant in this uh, resetting uh, current, you can generate, you can associate a protocol. And here I show you um, the stationary current uh, in the case uh, of the short path protocol. Uh, this means that uh, we are taking the limit of a uh, really, really large time when the, 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 the quantities do not depend anymore on time. And of course, since uh, we are on a one dimensional system, the current will be also space independent. And this means that we can plot uh, the, the value of the total current uh, in the figure A, uh, uh, the, the quantity J, uh, which is our J dot as a function of uh, uh, different parameters of the, our problem. In this case, uh, we have uh, uh, the resetting point and uh, different values of uh, uh, the resetting rate. So as we can see, um, uh, this uh, current is uh, completely symmetric with respect uh, to the origin. So one can just stick to the, let's say, right part of uh, this plot and see that uh, um, so in this case we have a particle that reset according to the shortest path protocol so each time the, a particle resets inside the, the uh, this gray area it will stick uh, inside this gray area whatever the, the uh, so the, 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 the shortest path is always inside this gray area so this means that particles are confined inside uh, the resetting region uh, on the other side, so this means that whenever you increase your resetting rate, uh, the particle will be more constrained inside this uh, resetting area. This is why this green line is completely flat, because uh, there is no current, and which means that the particles are basically uh, stuck in that region. Then, uh, when, whenever you move, uh, let's say, in a plot, uh, uh, always in plot A from XR over A, equal from one to three, so uh, right outside the gray area to the first peak, uh, you have that uh, the, the current increases because the resetting pushes away particle along the shortest path, which still is the one that connects the great area to the resetting point. 
uh, when the, uh, the party, when the resetting point uh, uh, reaches this uh, uh, peak uh, in uh, correspondence to x var over a equal 3 approximately, you see that uh, mm, there is uh, a second contribution to the current which comes from particles that uh, reset uh, not uh, along the positive uh, side but also uh, from the other side, making a tool. This means that we'll have uh, two uh, source of, um, uh, of uh, current which will have negative uh, contribution and this uh, will reduce, uh, will suppress the, the, the current. So here we present also the, um, the comparison with the simulation in the figure B uh, for a particular choice of uh, resetting rate. Then uh, I also uh, show here the, the probability distribution. Uh, let's say these are two uh, snapshots of uh, uh, the probability density of particle and uh, uh, for the same parameter except the resetting point which is marked by the vertical blue line in particular in the first picture we have that the resetting point is outside uh, the gray area that is the resetting region and uh, this means that uh, each time uh, uh, th there is a complete uh, depletion of, uh, of uh, particles inside the resetting region so the particles are pushed away from the resetting region and we have a peak outside the resetting region, correspondence of the resetting uh, point. Uh, moreover, uh, this is a, a feature of uh, problems with resetting, the, the probability density has a cusp in correspondence of the resetting point. Uh, and then there is, uh, uh, in the second figure, uh, we have um, instead uh, the case in which the resetting point is inside uh, the gray area, the resetting region, and uh, in this case, the, 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 the probability density is maximally picked inside this region. And uh, uh, yes? Generally, we are at uh, about uh, minute 12. Are you wrapping okay. now? Yes, yes, I'm wrapping. Okay, great. Okay. So uh, finally, um, uh, like conclusion, I, um, what, what is nice about this problem is that uh, we can see how topological constraints so the fact that we don't have an open geometry but a ring uh, modifies the, the, the features of a, of a, a system and uh, in particular we see how it is possible to generate uh, infinitely many cur currents on which we have uh, complete control uh, and, uh, and we see how all these uh, currents, let's say, uh, uh, converge to the same probability distribution. So I, I think. Well, thank you very much uh, for the nice talk and uh, observing the time. Uh, since questions are fun, let's have one quick question. Okay. If anyone uh, has... I, I mm -hmm. have a question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, uh, Gennaro, thanks for your talk. So, um, I had a question about the, the resetting. Is it is it possible to envision a resetting which is um, ha which happens in an oscillatory manner? So, you know, it goes forward, then back, then more forward, then back, then, and then eventually hits the original position. Oh, ah, is, okay. Is, is, um, is, yes. Is resetting. I think uh, maybe if you want, you can generalize the idea by like adding uh, a noise to the uh, setting position, like uh, like, uh, like generalizing not the setting position as a delta uh, pointed in x of r, as but as a distribution uh -huh. that you can do. Yes. And 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 because I I'm I'm thinking of uh, let's say applications that I have in mind where. Uh, that's more likely to be realistically happening when you have like a particle moving in a in a bath in a yes. media. Uh, it's very unlikely that you'd have instantaneous resetting without collisions, right? Yes, uh, yes. That's right. So yeah. And anyway, uh, uh, I was just curious. Thanks. Yes, yes. You can do that, <laughs> of course. Great. Thank you very much for the question too. Uh, so the next.